Hello and welcome, I'm celebrity portrait photographer Rory Lewis and today I'm going to be talking about my portrait sittings with Kieran Hines. Kieran has sat for me on four occasions and each time I've created absolutely unique portraits. In this video, I'm going to be revealing behind the scenes footage, showing the lighting I've used, the setups, the direction, and most importantly, I want to touch on the inspiration behind each of these unique portraits. Kieran Hines has been one of my favorite sitters. The portraits I've created have been astonishing. A versatile performer, Kieran often plays villainous roles in feature films, such as The Sum of All Fears and The Road to Perdition. So let's get into it and have a look at the four portraits. One of the most important things to mention is Caravaggio's inspiration on my work. Caravaggio is often called the most modern of the old masters. There's just a newness, a contemporary feel to his work that painting prior to him just didn't have. Caravaggio used light, just like a photographer, using the method of a chiaroscuro. His pictures are cropped like photographs. One that sticks in my mind is Boy Bitten by a Lizard. That's a beautiful example of the one source of light that we identify Caravaggio with. It's also a wonderful captured moment. This boy's sort of feminine reaction to the lizard's bite is a photograph before photography. Many artists followed Caravaggio. We call these artists Caravaggists. And it's not just painters, it's also photographers, filmmakers. We can associate many with Caravaggio's ideas. Developing a style as a photographer is very important. And one of the things I don't do is look at other photographers' work. I turn to fine art to find my inspiration. And I'll find inspiration in the most unusual places, even watching a movie, reading a book, or visiting a gallery. And as we look at these portraits, you're going to see where I found the inspiration. The first artist in which I found inspiration can be quite controversial, Paul Matthias Padua. He was an artist who unfortunately painted for the wrong side in the Second World War. However, his work can be seen as quite Caravaggist in style. The portrait which caught my eye was that of the Italian dictator Benito Mussolini. Painted in February 1945 makes this portrait quite fascinating. During this time, Mussolini was almost a puppet ruler who'd lost all of his power, and just two months after the painting was completed, he was killed. The portrait of Mussolini was nearly destroyed along with thousands of other artworks by the American army. However, this one was rescued, and I'm glad it was, because it does show the clear talent of a Caravaggio-style artist. In directing Kieran for this portrait, I relayed all of these ideas. One of the most important things was to capture the eyes closed, this imminent downfall, this almost meditation of a demising dictator. This evokes feelings of a fallen dictator, a fallen leader. And in speaking to Kieran on our first portrait sitting, I wanted to evoke this feeling in the portrait. I said to Kieran, imagine you're a fallen king, a king who's about to be taken down, the peasants knocking on the door almost, about to finish his reign, and just to contemplate all his deeds in this portrait. His eyes are closed, there is a solemnity to the portrait. The lighting I've used again is this Caravaggio style, this darkness yet promoting drama and intrigue. In my first portrait of Kieran, I simply used a shoot through umbrella and a reflector or a flag. The reflector used was the Lastolite Halo Compact and the lighting used was the Bowens XMT 500. If people remember me for anything, I want them to remember me for this portrait. Kieran just breathed in, breathed out, closed his eyes, just breathing created these emotions, the simplicity behind the portrait and the subject, an astonishing actor. All these things brought together, inspiration, lighting, direction, created this marvelous, marvelous depiction. The next portrait, which took place just a few months after our first sitting, was inspired by the artist Gregorio Lorenzo. 
Lorenzo was an Italian master sculptor who was born in 1436. Visiting the Metropolitan Museum in New York in 2019, I spotted this depiction of Caesar by Lorenzo, and I was fascinated that Gregorio had sculpted two unique pieces each side of Caesar's face. Now, I wanted to create something similar myself, and why not do it with the actor, who was a well-known Caesar in HBO's Rome, so we set about creating a similar portrait in the studio in London. As you can see in the second portrait, I simply used one Okta softbox, just positioned directly in front of Kieran's face. I believe that direction should be kept simple. In creating this portrait, inspired by Lorenzo's sculpture, I asked Kieran to pose very prominently, shoulders, head tall, looking in one direction, focused with a serious expression, and similarly on the opposite side of his face doing the same thing. And then I merged the two portraits opposite of each other to create this stunning depiction. In my third portrait, captured in the same sitting, I took inspiration from the artist Giuseppe di Ribera. Giuseppe di Ribera was a Caravaggist, a Spanish-Italian tenebrist. Now, what does tenebrism mean? Tenebrism comes from the Italian word tenebroso. Quite simply, it means dark, gloomy, mysterious. It is often used by painters with pronounced chiaroscuro, light to dark, going back to what I mentioned about Caravaggio, his use of light and drama to create his portraits. In his depiction of the doubting apostle St. Thomas, he holds the spear that he was martyred with near Madras. In my style of simplicity, of course, I used a broomstick in my portrait to evoke that spear. I searched far and wide and ended up buying one from uh, Amazon. Uh, simply just searching for a broomstick. Um, I wanted Kieran to believe he was at the end of a long journey in my direction. Working with a short amount of time, we managed to capture a series of very powerful portraits depicting Kieran in a plain yet purposeful expression. I really enjoyed this sitting and it took pride of place in my Silla exhibition. In the third portrait, I employed a shoot-through umbrella and also that small octo softbox just to create a fill light. The shoot-through being my main light, the octo softbox just acting as a fill light. In my fourth portrait, I take inspiration from Caravaggio's depiction of Saint Matthew writing his gospel. Saint Matthew appears as an elegant scholar visited by an angel. As you can see, the use of light and illumination is important in this portrait. And in directing Kieran, I asked him to assume this pious pose, looking up, looking saintly almost, into the light, and thus producing this vivid and stark portrait. In the final portrait, I used the last light, Skylight Rapid, as a black flag, just to intensify those shadows and also the Lastelite Easybox Pro Octa, just to create that softness and illumination in the portrait. In conclusion, I used one actor to create four unique portraits. You can do this yourself. It's all about direction, inspiration, bringing things together. You can create completely different looks using the same person. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe and I look forward also to reading your comments below. Thank you for watching.